All right, guys, welcome back. We're out here on this pond again. It's a beautiful day. Um, it's cold. It's real brisk. So yesterday I didn't do much. I set them snares up. Um, I can't see them from where I'm at, but I set those up yesterday, and I revamped a lot of these spots for muskrats. Found a couple more runs, and uh, because the we had some rain and the snow was off the ice, so. Uh, I found a really good run. I set a colony trap in, and uh, I see some fur under the ice. So let's get you. I'll show you. There's a run that comes right down through here and goes back into this these cattails. It's the only run I found over here. Um, so let's see what we got. Man, that's a big rat. That's a big rat, guys. Now, if you can see him, we'll get him out of there. Let go of the cage. Let go of the cage. These rats, they like to, when they're struggling to get out, they'll bite these cages. I can't get the damn things out. That's a big muskrat, guys. So, yeah, cool. We're gonna keep on, uh, keep on looking. There's definitely a bunch in here. So we're gonna put this right back in this run. Um, that's what I love about colonies, man. I mean, you just never know. We're gonna stick it right back in that run. Hard to see it now that I got the cage in the grass. It's all muddied up, but I'll just take some of this back on top. Make sure my doors are working. Yep. All right. One rat down. I'll get my glove off here, and I'll take you, take you with me. Well, I just got over here. You see them? I just set these snares up yesterday. We got a coyote in a snare. All right. This was that, uh, this was that snare that was on that small little trail. You can see, he's just a little dog, but um, man, he stinks. Coyote on the snare, guys. That's pretty awesome. So, we'll get him taken care of real quick. Alright, guys. There it is. How effective snares are. Once it snows, guys... These coyotes are running. If you're in a if you're in an area where uh, you're there every day, you know, and you've been there for a little while, and you see coyotes come through, set them trails. He blew this all out. I'm gonna have to pull that. But uh, it's a female. I don't know how big of a dog she is. I don't know. Probably 35 pounds. Not rub, nothing. Yeah, pretty decent guard hairs on her. She stinks. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. First night snare. Um, I can't reset this. The snare's toast, but man, there's still another perfect spot right there. As you can see, she was still alive. Um, even all that stuff didn't, you know, that, in Ohio we have, uh, we have laws where you can't have a, you have to have a relaxing lock. It's got to be a relaxing lock. So I guess it's, it's more of a, a, a cable restraint. So, um, she was up all, all this mess here. So yeah, awesome. Awesome. So let's go check out our other one over here. 
I walked by it twice, didn't even look at it, excited about that one. Um, we've got, the wind blew that over, but our cable's still there. Uh, I don't, I didn't bring my driver, my puller, or nothing. So, we're just gonna push this in there and hope for the best. I would put you guys on my tripod, but I just broke it, so. That, uh, I didn't see that dog bouncing around. I was, I walked all the way around this pond, didn't see it. So, we'll just put that other one there. And then, uh, so yeah. There she is. Pretty dog. So, all right guys, let me see what I can do here and then we're gonna get on down the line. I'll tell you what guys, uh, I run these split rings and I want to show you something. In states where you can't have a locking snare, these split rings, um, if you're thinking about using them, I can't know if, I don't know if I can get in there, but that thing was only an inch that far from getting out with that cable on it. See it? All I did was cut the cable off, left the disposable on the ground. Yeah, that was close. So, uh, so yeah, guys. Split rings on cable restraint systems. You know, unless you can use a snare with a locking snare or a ram. Um, but in Ohio, we cannot. It has to be a relaxing lock, so they're technically cable restraints. Um, I would not suggest split rings. Go with D-rings or swivels. You see how close it was right there. An inch. So, just FYI, that was the first time that I've put one on a snare like this. And uh, I don't think I'll be putting any more on them. So, we still got that one set. Man, I wish I had a trap with me. But uh, we're going to pull all these sets tomorrow. So, I'll take one coyote. So, let's go check the rest. All right, guys. That's it for the day. One rat and one coyote. I'll take that. Um, yeah, we're going to pull out of here tomorrow as much as I don't want to now that I caught that coyote. Um, but off to bigger and better places. So, And it's a 45 minute drive for me after work. So uh, It's been fun. So we'll see if we catch anything else tomorrow. And we're going to go ahead and pull out of that location. So... But I wanted to take a minute and um, just tell you guys that everybody has given me tips and, you know, followed the channel so far this year. Um, it's been a lot of fun. It's uh, It's been aggravating at times. We had a pretty slow start to the season. And uh, this muskrat trapping has been a lot of fun. Um, I really don't want to uh, pull all my rat traps, but... Uh, this, these next locations I'm going to are way too far from here, so uh, that's just part of having a full-time job and um, having a love for trapping, I guess. So, but all right, guys. Well, thanks for following, and then uh, share the channel if you would like and subscribe. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow.